This is the part of our show we always love because, well, now it takes a whole new twist. Tim Atwood, would you please come up to the microphone for a second? Oh, no. We have a question. You know, many times we get mysterious telephone calls. Let's hear that fake telephone ring. <laughs> it's magic. One day, Tim Atwood came to town, and you were going to see the Rambos. I actually was... Uh... I flew down, I graduated high school, and the Rambos were looking for a piano player. Let me pull this microphone. Down. Okay. But I, they were looking for a piano player, so I flew down from. You play piano? Yeah. Okay. And how it works, that works out great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, uh, I flew down, I was from Peoria, Illinois, and I flew down and I uh, auditioned for the Rambos. I didn't get the job, but I stayed at Dottie Rambo's house, and the phone rang, and she said, Will you get that? Just find out who it Wait, is. Wait one second, let's have that with phone. A reenactment. <laughs> the phone rang. That was the type of phone. And then I went, hello? <laughs> uh, but anyhow, the uh, voice of the other said, is Dottie there? And I said, uh, may I ask who's calling? He said, it's Elvis. Oh. And uh, as soon as I changed my underwear, I gave her the phone. <laughs> you know, there's always an Elvis and now a Tim Atwood connection. <laughs> and many people are kind of sad that the piano is leaving the Hall of Fame. It's Gold Leaf, and it was the piano that Scylla gave to Elvis. Well, the piano may be leaving the Hall of Fame, and Elvis may have moved on. But you know, he's still here at Handy Hardware because now we offer to you the eighth wonder of the world, the one and only Elvis on a Bobcat. <laughs> Just think, someday that might happen to you. <laughs>